The expanded retreat was an opportunity for the participants to enjoy the uncommon interface directly with the handsman of the ministry. With a promise to boldly and confidently push harder, the minister wants participants to be relevant drivers and worthy ambassadors as the nation is already on a journey of lasting transformation. When I paid my maiden visit to the NOA in October of 2023, I recall saying that I look forward to working with the agency too, and I thought, kickstart on the president's directives, a nationwide reorientation and reawakening campaign, and I'll be requiring a comprehensive roadmap from you within the shortest possible time. You already have the experience of doing this, as well as the skills and the enthusiasm to do so, end of quote. I am delighted, therefore, today to say that we have since then gone very far in this regard, producing a brand new national values charter for our dear country, in line with the president's commitment to a moral, ethical, and cultural reawakening across the land and the entrenchment of the right values, attitudes, habits, and perspectives deep in the hands and minds of the people of this great nation. The National Values Charter, the minister said, was developed as a tool for social cohesion to promote unity with unique implementation plans. One, to ensure that all Nigerians are fully aware of their rights and protections under the constitution and the laws of the land, and that governments at all levels are equally aware of all the constitutionally guaranteed obligations that they have to the citizenry. Second, to sensitize and awaken all Nigerians to all of our responsibilities as citizens of this great and beautiful country. National reorientation, the minister acknowledged, is the way to go in fostering sustainable peace and guarantee confidence among the leaders and the led.